Hello everyone. So in this week's arrangement, we have one flower which is making its first appearance ever in our arrangements and a couple of flowers that are making their first appearance this year. So making its first appearance ever is this magnificent flower called Nerine. You will actually find it growing wildly across the UK. It looks a little bit like Agapanthus. And then the first time this year is this glorious fellow called Kangaroo Paw, or in Latin, Anigosanthos. It just adds a lovely bit of structure and texture in the middle of the arrangement. Also the first time this year is this glorious Lamira Chrysanthemum, which just is a really popping sort of pinky purple color, which I absolutely love. So alongside that, we've got some lovely Alstroemeria, which will last for weeks and weeks if you look after it. Then some tall and structural Lysianthus in the center of the arrangement. Then alongside that, some lovely frilly Eucalyptus parvifolia, which has a wonderful scent if you whip off one of the leaves and crush it and give it a smell. Absolutely lovely. Then as ever, it's always very important to look after your flowers. You must trim a diagonal inch off the end of all your stems. Next, you wanna use clean room temperature water, about a third full. Too hot dehydrates the flowers and too cold shocks them. Whack in your flower food and then do make sure to change your water every three days. We start with the blooms in an even triangle around the edge of the vase. Then we can face our Alstroemeria opposite each other and do the same with your lovely Noreen. And what this lovely selection of flowers has done has created this wonderful TP or stem grid in the middle of the vase, which creates a great structure for the taller flowers to stand up in. So in we now go with our taller kangaroo paw, which I really love because it's almost got the same sort of shape to it as the noreen, so they work very well together. And you can just look over the top and find a nice spot for them to slot in. Either side of the kangaroo paw, we can do the same with our lovely Lysianthus. With the eucalyptus, we now want to create what I like to call a bit of a foliage nest around the edge of the vase. Take the stem and just slot it over the edge and it just gives a lovely bit of wildness and width. And do a bit of plumping and make sure everything is standing up right in the middle. And there we go. A very quirky, colorful arrangement with lots of unique and interesting stems. And I really hope you enjoy arranging it. Mm -hmm.